Hi, I'm Mary Ellen from Field and Forest Products. This morning we're inoculating with thimble spawn. We love thimble spawn. It saves us a lot of time, it's very easy to use. There's just three steps. Drill the log, put the spawn in, and label. Then we're good to go. So we'd like to show you how to use it. When you first receive your spawn, plan on using it within the first couple of weeks. It can store at room temperature while you're getting everything else together. If you're not able to use it in that period of time, it will store refrigerated for up to six weeks. Make sure to keep it in the original bag until you're ready to use it. A sheet of thimble spawn consists of a molded plastic sheet, known as the tray, which holds the individual pieces of spawn, known as thimbles. When you are ready to inoculate, take the sheet of spawn out of the plastic bag. If the thimbles have been stored for longer than a few weeks, mycelium under the styrofoam cap might push the cap up and away from the tray as it grows. The spawn is still in great shape, just try to save those caps if they come loose. To remove the thimbles from the tray, cut the tray into strips for easier handling. With gentle pressure, pop the thimbles out of the tray. If individual thimbles remain lodged in the tray, gently flick the bottom of the tray with your thumb and forefinger. It's almost as fun as popping bubble wrap. If you are using an angle grinder or a high speed drill, you must use a 13 millimeter screw tip bit. If you are using a lower speed drill, you can use the 13 millimeter screw tip bit or a one half inch bit and stop collar from your local hardware store. Drop the thimbles into the holes and firmly seat the styrofoam cap. If the cap comes loose while inserting the spawn, replace it once the spawn is in the hole. We provide a small baggie of extra caps with each order should you misplace any. Label the logs with whatever journaling information you think you'll need. We inscribe the date of inoculation, strain name, and any other miscellaneous information we'd like to keep track of. If you are concerned about a long-term litter problem with all those styrofoam caps in your woods, Rest assured that the caps decompose over time. You can see the initial process in this three-year-old red maple log. If you have any questions about thimble spawn, how to use it, or how to choose it, give us a call. And thanks for watching.